even in the uh, urban environment, the hardening of large areas of urban environment change the geomorphology, they change the dynamics of uh, river systems and drainage patterns. Historically, from an engineering point of view, we've always looked to shed drainage water very quickly and now we're finding that those hardened surfaces are creating all sorts of different challenges for uh, our natural waterways that drain that with changes to stream power and so forth. In the, uh, in the agricultural uh, world, of course, the introduction of nutrients uh, and uh, chemicals, organophosphate, organochlorine, pesticides, herbicides, nutrients, nitrates, um, discharging is incredibly important. Today I'll be talking specifically about the Fitzroy Basin, the largest coastal catchment in Queensland, the second largest river basin in uh, Australia, behind the Murray-Darling Basin. And very importantly, those competing uses that I spoke about have an impact upon the final end user of the water in the Fitzroy Basin, which is the Great Barrier Reef Lagoon. There's been much attention both here in Australia and I believe internationally around the health of the reef and the contributions relatively of what discharges from mainland Australia onto the reef lagoon uh, may be causing. So that will be a case study today, but there will be many case studies from around the world. We've already heard uh, examples from northern Nigeria. And the ability to exchange those experiences and those ideas between all of those different environmental settings is a very powerful mechanism to share ideas. One very important aspect of these types of forums, which has already been mentioned and will continue to be a theme, is the challenge for scientists to ensure that the complex worlds in which they operate, the complex scientific monitoring, modelling concepts that they develop, can be translated into, uh, if you like, the language of the community because without community buy-in, without community acceptance, uh, all of our efforts at the scientific level will be heavily challenged. So that is a great challenge for everybody at this uh, Congress, I think, um, particularly those at the technical end of the scale, to be able to ensure that they not only can maintain the highest technical standards, but that they are able to effectively communicate that to the community at large, who ultimately will be the investors in sustainable catchment management.